So my dad came over and helped me drop in the new engine after we power washed the front of the unit. Right now it's sitting loosely bolted in. I gotta figure out how to route all the hoses and electrical. According to the directions, the throttle's supposed to be hooked up over to here and onto this back pinhole. But the cable that I got in the kit is actually so long, I'm considering going from this side and coming through and hooking onto the front side. Or I just got to figure out how to loop it in a way that it's not going to bind up. The choke should be no issue. The choke's gonna stick out a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can, again, reroute that so it fits in there nicely. I like that the drain hose was able to go right through this hole in the plate. And then comes right out there. In order for me to install the choke cable, which is there, the new choke cable and the new throttle, I had to take out the bolts that held in the battery box. I also loosened up this guy. So I was able to move this panel over a little bit more so I can gain access to the, the nuts on the back side a little easier. So I'm working on hooking up the throttle cable where the instructions say the throttle cable is supposed to go is supposed to run straight in and be bolted down here. But if that's the case, that is not notched wide enough so I can get the cable through. On the other side, I could run the cable, loop it around and up into through here, but that bracket would then be in the way. So I think the answer is I have to notch more of this. I figured out the final layout of the throttle cable. It goes down and through where the original motor uh, shroud was. That's my choke. The throttle continues on goes toward the front and loops around. However, it is hitting the exhaust shield, so I have to notch that out. Thank you. 
finishing up the wiring on the tractor. I believe the battery cables are reversed from what it was with the Onan. I have the ground coming over and hooking into the motor right there. On the other side, I have the positive coming down through this hole here and going right to the starter. Let's see. Pink is going to go to this side. That's for the, let's see, that is for the coil. Tan goes to the green on the engine. That is for low oil sensor. Red goes to purple on the engine. If you had the original factory connector still, you'd be able to just plug and play, but mine is missing it. I think I cut it off when I had issues with the unit starting uh, last year. Uh, last connections are we have this purple goes to uh, the starter solenoid. And for the PTO, you got to cut off the old connector and put on the connector supplied in the kit. I have the blue going to the PTO. Uh, I got to run this and connect it into the other ground, but that's already grounded on the engine. This part of the harness should be for my lights, which I think is same thing on this side. That should be for my rear tail lights. And this was the seat safety switch in which someone has zip tied it closed. All right, this is the startup of the John Deere 318 with the Vanguard 23 horsepower repower. Choke.